Hello everybody and welcome back to another Vintage Thursday. So today we have got the beat drill on the 35. We are just heading to the fodder meat field and today we are going to go drilling. So we're just going to take down, take down the cow fence first and then <clears throat> we shall get on. So there we go, full up with seed. So we did have a little bit of seed left from last year. So we put that in the very outside unit. Good morning. Okay, so we are just on the first time around the headland now. So this is a very easy field to drill. It is pretty much rectangular. And so there are no short, no short runs. Um, so we're just marking out the headland now. Um, so we always drill in a straight line and we do not follow the curve of the hedge. So Dad's gonna set a pole down the far end. And I drive to the pole, we keep it straight. And then we do the headland on inwards from there.
Okay, so there is the headland finished. You might just see the drills running away from us. That's what we've got to do now. So when we're doing the headland, we just leave the one marker out. Because uh, when we start, obviously this one will be running in the hedge. So now we've got to put this one over. And they just... So they're not controlled by anything. They just run in the ground all the time. There's a lot of markers when it's not working. I will lift up, but because it's running where we're running the wheel and we don't run the wheel anywhere near a cedar unit, it doesn't disturb the seed, so they just sit on the floor and run, run along. So we'll just check the seed, make sure we're doing all right, make sure they're, make sure they're going down evenly. Right, that's all okay, so what we'll do now, um, so like I said, headland is done. Now we will run up and down the long runs of the field till we get to somewhere close to the middle. Uh, and then we will skip a row and drill on again. So we'll, when we finish drilling, we will have a strip down the middle of the field that is undrilled and um, that we use. It just makes it so much easier for harvesting, for, this, for the first run of harvesting. Um, that's why we that's why we skip a row. So right, let's go up and down. Um, Dad's coming back in a minute, and then when he comes back, he will drive, and then we will get the drone and do a little bit of filming. Right, so we're getting along quite nicely now. Um, so back in the power harrowing or rolling and power harrowing of this field video, um, I said, or well, you knew, the first pass of the power harrow wasn't good enough. It wasn't going down fine enough, um, but we power harrowed it again yesterday and it came up nicely. So you can see we've got uh, a fine enough seed bed. There is still some moisture underneath, which is a surprise um, considering the dry weather we've had for probably the last three weeks. Um, so we are planting into moisture but it's dry on the top which is good because this drill does work better um, it, it travels better on dry soil and um, because you've got the wheels front and back you know if if it's damp if the top if the surface is damp the front wheels will pick up the soil um, and it and it stops from turning and it just bulldozes and makes a mess so <clears throat> it's nice to have the top dry it makes it go nicely um, with some moisture underneath to, uh, to put the seed directly in the moisture. So it's going it's going quite well. And we are probably, probably halfway done now. Right, 
Right, so we are nearing the end. We're just, we've got one box of seed left. Um, we're getting down, so we'll spread that one box between all the rows, just to make sure we don't run out. So there's more in that end one because um, when we started off he was full right up because we had a little bit of seed left from last year and um, so that went into that box all the rest went straight on the fresh so we'll just get our box get our seed put it out between these and uh, then we'll just run till we finish So there we go, we have got to the end. So we finished up in the middle, and because the top and the bottom headland are not quite parallel, I'm sorry to save a lot of over drilling, I would just come part way just to fill in the last little bit and then um, stop there. Because if we, you know, if you over drill cereals or grass, it doesn't matter. And um, if you over drill the rows on the headland of beet um, with rows from the middle, you know, you get crossing rows and it just causes all kinds of bother with the harvester at the end, you know, at the end of the season. Um, so we'll stop here and uh, and that is it so i've kind of remembered <laughs> right at the end i didn't tell you what variety we're using um i did i did mention in an earlier video earlier earlier in the year uh, we were going to talk about it so this year we have gone for brick um, which is the same variety we used two years ago and um, this is more of a sugar beet type variety um, and it grows low in the soil um, last year we were on, I think it was Blaze, and um, that was more of a, that variety grows more out of the ground. And if you remember in the harvesting video, we were getting some wastage with the harvester knocking them over before they got lifted. Um, so we've gone back to this variety, which grows low in the ground. Um, so in, a, in the past we have had better harvesting uh, results with this variety, but slightly less yield per acre. Um, but we kind of reckon in the long run the actual amount the, the crop in the yard is probably the same because this yields a bit less but we harvest it all um, blades yields high blaze yields higher but we waste some of it and so we're trying to so we've gone for this variety this year uh, to eliminate the waste so we'll just fold up um, and that's it then all we've got to do to put it put this machine to bed for the winter or you know for the rest of the year for the next 51 weeks We'll just take we'll take the, the row units off, blow it all down, take the belts out, clean it, and that's it, and just put it away. So there we go. Um, and then obviously the tractor gets to go back on his normal wheels, set back in to his normal track width. So there we go. I will say thank you very much for watching. Um, I guess we'll see you. So next time we see this field, um, we may catch a spraying of it. Don't know yet, but we'll certainly be back for the harvest. So that will be late October at the earliest. So thank you very much for watching and we'll see you next time.